Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I'm back with the clothing haul and I'm gonna share my experience, my first time experience going to Small Street with you. This is gonna be a story time of Joburg of Small Street and then the haul will come back after. Cool. Where do I start? If you follow me on Instagram, which I suggest you should at Kutwinana, um, you will notice that I went to Small Street. My very first time. I did a lot of stories asking you to compare between Small Street and Yellow Sap. So then I ended up going to both so that I can have both experiences and then give you the feedback. A lot of people loved Small Street. A lot of you loved Yellow Sap. Me being from Pretoria, I'd say Yellow Sap. I'm gonna give you my experience from both. So let's start with a little bit of background before we get into the holes, right? Um. This video is long overdue, by the way. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you, let me tell you why. I, being me, am very, very afraid of Joburg. CBD. So, I was not going alone. My friend had planned the weekend we had planned to go, so I didn't go. Next week, they said, Andi, lab. I'm like... Then, my only option was Mommy Dearest. Oh, that woman saved my life. She saved my video. Cause if she didn't come, I wasn't going. So I told my mom that I really, really want to go to Small Street. I don't want to buy online because I want the experience. Umani dearest came to Joburg to cut her hair. A Laguala child to Small Street. It's okay. I will be brave, guys. I'm very afraid of CBD. Don't judge me. I can walk Pretoria Street 10 p.m., 9 a.m. Bo. AMs I can walk, Pretoria and Dijuayele, cool, we cool, and I, I'm not afraid of Pretoria, but then Joburg, guys, guys, have you been to Joburg CBD, have you been to MTN, have you been to New York Hillbro or whatever they call it, uh uh, nah, let me not ramble, but then mom came, she came on Saturday, and then she said we're gonna go on Sunday, because Sunday is the least full day, but cool, then, Sunday morning, she's like, wake up, early morning. Wake up, see ya, pick and aren't we going shopping? Don't we go anytime? She's like, we want to hit it before it's full. Like, Mind you, my mom was a job girl for the longest time. So she says, no, she says, she really, really knows these stuff. I wasn't convinced until we went to Small Street. Okay, mom came, woke up Sunday morning, we got ready. We left the house at around 9. Like, yo, yes, yes it is. Fine, we went to Small Street, we got there. So, um, guys, I'm Diazi Joburg, ne? But I think it's Elof Street and then it's Small Street. I'm not sure. When you're using that Bree Street, I'm not sure again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was I wearing? Girl got a bucket hat, no wig, bucket hat, mask, sport bra. Put my money in the small guys. I did this because of what everyone was saying. I went onto Instagram, onto YouTube, onto Twitter, looking for advice for small street, and everyone said, "Be very safe here. It's so scary here." Eh, eh. So I wore a sport bra and I put my money in it, and then I wore a baggy shirt, yeah, babe, that covers all my jean pockets, jeans, and sneakers. The most comfortable sneakers I had. That was me. Fine. So um, that was me. I wore my things because of everything that I saw on the internet, clearly. And then we got there. My mom has a bag. She's wearing a dress and sneakers. She's fine. She's not worried. She's not scared. Me! Ha! Left both my phones at home. I'm like, mm -mm. She's like, so you're leaving your phones? I'm like, mm. You sure? I'm like, mm. Okay. She puts it in her bag. She puts the wallet. She puts the money. She's like, you go. Let, let go. And I'm like, clearly this woman doesn't know where we're going. She knows the old small street, not the new one that I'm seeing on the net. Fine, we got off there. She's like, okay, now we at small street. Okay, we got into this whole passage thing. I'm not sure. It, it looked like a passage between shops. She's like, so now, once we enter this passage, we entering small street. She's like, let's look. We get off. She holds her bag. She holds my hand. Do you see how old I am? Do you see Jim Dalagan Jan? My mother holds 
a whole knee's hand. She's like, why are you hold my hand? She's like, let's go. More if you get lost, I ain't finding you. You don't even have phones. I'm like, okay, cool. Guys, she held my hand the whole day. Cool. So we got in the first store. I saw nice stuff. I'm like, no, let me buy. She's like, why? Mm -mm. You don't buy at your first store. You scan everything and then you go back, compare the prices and buy. Uh, so gaga. All right. Anyway, we got into the stores, compared the prices, did I shopping, did I shopping. And then once I knew in my head what I wanted. And the other thing, I had taken an exact amount of money because I knew that if I take my whole cart, I would overspend. That's just me. So I took the exact amount of money that I needed. I'm smart. Now I'm from Pretoria. I put 1,000 here. 500, 500. Yabo? Yabo? Ha! Fine. Um, we scanned everything and then we went back to buy. Um, got into the shops and then the, the shops vary pricing and service. Because some you can swipe your card, which was my mother. You can swipe your card, but some you can't. And another thing is, some shops say this is 200. Some shops say that is 150. And this is identical. So you need to actually go through and scan the shops before you buy. Because you're gonna go to a shop and immediately buy guns if it's expensive. Get what I mean? Fine, we scanned from the first passage we got into. We scanned that one that has our fashion over. We jumped into the sign that had small street mall. I'm like, are we only um, experience? Are we only entering small street now? He's like, nah. Okay, that one. And then we stopped in the robot front of, is it Cresta Mall? I'm not sure. Oh, it's Carlton Center. We stopped in the, we, we turned back. Um, the road before Carlton Center and then we went back to buy. What else? So, my experience with Small Street the first time. Small Street is rough, I won't lie, but it's not as rough as everyone says it is. You get me? You feel me? You guys make it look like it's empty in taxi rank. From my experience, honestly, or maybe it was a Sunday, because from 9 till Aboma 12, it wasn't packed. Like the time we were leaving, guys, ah, the people there were the, the girls that got. I saw guys at Small Street. That was my biggest shock of the day. Um, it's not as scary as people make it look or sound or seem. Yes, maybe because I left my phone and I knew that I was very cautious. It wasn't that stressful because I thought the whole time I'd be stressed, but actually, I was just holding my mom's hand walking with her it wasn't that scary but i did see a lot of um people who were selling stolen phones stolen goods you just ignore move on move on with your life don't even look at them but small street is actually cleaner than cbd do it i'm still shocked at that one but yeah that is what is it that is what it is mm. the other thing so it's not as scary as you guys make it look the clothes are very reasonable compared to the website and internet pricing because I saw most of the things that I wanted were 280 and then I'll find it with 180. If it was 480 on the internet, it would be for 360. Like it's the 100 rand difference that the internet clothing, the website has that is for shipping. So it's cheaper when you go to the store yourself um it's not scary it's cheap it's very cheap the clothes are very nice and they have so much quality you need to be very comfortable because going in and out of shops and sanitizers and everything and comparing prices is a lot so yeah that was my first time at small street experience small street is not as scary as you guys make it look i'm definitely going back because the clothes i got guys wait for the haul wait for the next video that is coming right up because wow fine and <laughs> never mind it's okay um i'm gonna definitely go back for a full-on winter try on haul keep that keep an eye for that on my channel and then 
I will like go alone to small streets. Yeah, I would. If I'm leaving both my phones and just taking the cash that I need, I would go or card because sh some shops do swipe actually, but some don't. But they have similar things, so it's like, um, what else? Did I really need my mom for the first time? Of course I did, child. I wouldn't have strategized, stretched, strategized. Strategy plus zergize the onayo. I wouldn't have strategized the way that I did. Was it um, worth it? Most hundred percent definitely worth it. Diabuela <laughs> apa. Um, <laughs> what else? Good try no. Yeah, small street is 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 fine. It's okay for me. Small street is like my rubber stud. I've been to my rubber stud and I know. So yellow sub trading. Um, the clothes and the website prices are actually identical. The same. They're not different. If you, it's on, it's eighty five rand on the website. It's definitely eighty five rand or less at Yellow Sub Marabasta. And the thing about Yellow Sub, if you go there and you want something and they don't have it, they can go call the other store to bring it. You you get. You don't have to walk out that store. They're gonna call that store to bring you that size and color. The store that has it. So what I did with Yellow Sub is I went. I'm not afraid to, to take my phone to Yellow Sub. Uh, side, come on. But it's also for some people. So I took my phone. I took screenshots of all the items that I wanted. They didn't have most of them that they had on the website, which was an inconvenience. I only found three things that I wanted at Yellow Sub. So I got to Yellow Sub. I showed them the pictures. They called the store that had those things that they didn't have. And then they brought them to me. It was a one trip. Basically, I got in there. The price is identical. They know what they have, where and what. And then they, I gave them the money and I left. I didn't have to spend the whole day because we left Small Street at 3 p.m. I went to Yellow Sub. Man, I was that. Got up the stairs, stood at the counter, showed them what I wanted. They told me what they have, what they don't have, where is what. And then everything came to me at the counter. Hmm. See why I love Pretoria. But yeah, guys, I haven't done a video in so long. I'm even running out of breath. But overall experience, which one would I personally go to? Because I've been asking you guys which one you prefer, Small Street or Yellow Sub. Personally, for me, I've been to Yellow Sub. The, the convenience, the it's very convenient. For me. But then the other hand, Small Street has so many things you get. It has a lot of clothes. The pricing is, you'll see the, the I'll, I'll, I'll mention the pricing on the whole because the whole is going to embed both Small Street and Yellow Sub. You'll, you'll compare the pricing, but for me, it's more or less the same thing. Which one do I prefer? I'm Tyson Dufuni Small Street. The thing that I saw. Ha! Huh? And I, I am in love with the clothes that I saw at Small Street. I won't lie, no kid. I'm definitely going back. Yes, there's nothing wrong with Yellow Sub. It just didn't have stock by the time I went. So it just be that. That comes to the end of my video. I'm going to shoot the try on haul now. I don't want to make it a long video. So I'm just going to shoot the try on haul now. And yeah. Hope this video wasn't all over the place because it's a quick one. So that I can do the try on haul and then you feel me. So yeah, hope you subscribe, like, and share this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. And that was my, my first time experience at Small Street. And yeah, see you guys on the try on haul. Bye! I'm being a New Yorker.